Hello everyone, this video will show you the first steps that you should take when you start the simulation. Probably the easiest way to use the simulation is to use single explosions. Let's zoom in on London and here you see the population density. Now if we select the single explosion mode, we can simply click on the map and it will cause an explosion. We can set the parameters of the explosion like yield and height and it will change the physical effects of the explosion which you can see as red and blue circles so let's do it again and depending on the height you will have fallout or you will have no fallout so here in this corner you see that the calculator button is blinking green this means that there are explosions that are ready to be calculated let's click on it the effects of recent explosions are calculated and they are visualized. So in this section you can enable or disable different visualizations. Let's say we don't want to see the population density anymore and instead we want to visualize the physical effects, the fallout or the areas affected by fires. Then you can replace the scenario that is loaded at the start of the simulation. Let's change the globe mode to this view to make it a little bit prettier. Let's disable the population density and by clicking on this button you can execute the scenario attack plan by attack plan. Or if you click this button all attack plans will be executed in the sequence and the timing. And now, after the exchange is complete, you can again click on the calculator button and the casualties will be calculated. And we can see which areas were affected from this exchange. And again, we can visualize the physical effects, we can visualize fallout, and we can visualize the areas affected by fires. And now we see the results. The default scenario that is loaded at the beginning is not very realistic. So if you want to create a more realistic scenario, you can just delete the default scenario. You can go to the construction menu. Uh, let's take some ICBMs, ICBM silos. Let's place them somewhere. You can select them by holding shift and dragging and now you can create a new attack plan. Let's say A, B, C. So now you can assign the warheads by clicking on the map, distribute attack plan and the attack plan is ready to use. Now you can save this scenario here, ABC, and again you can execute it. So these are the basic steps on how you can use the simulation. Uh, I will go into more detail on the specific functions of it in other videos and I'm really curious to see how you will use it and what scenarios you will come up with. Thank you for your attention.